What's up, nerdlings? What up, nerdlings? Hey, do you nerd for Harry Potter and the Wizarding World? So you nerd? It is time to unbox a Wizarding World crate, and look at that. It's only one, meaning that uh, they're, they're kind of catching up. They're trying to It's not to like you've got up. a stack of them. And uh, the sticker on here says Borgen and Burr. I hope it's not a Borgen box. That did work. <laughs> Boring box. All right, so the theme is Room of Requirements. While wandering the halls of Hogwarts, you might discover a place that appears when you need it most. Find what you're seeking in the Room of Requirement. Hey, the only things I need in the Room of Requirement are blackjack and hookers. Ah, screw the whole thing. Ooh, this is heavy. There's that word again, heavy. Why are things so heavy in the future? Is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? Is that a passport? No, it's wi travel wizard's chess. So it would appear to be a magnetic chessboard this with is neat. magnetic chess pieces. I really like this. I never thought of just having a you know flat chessboard with flat pieces like that. This is really cool. The only complaint I have about it. Oh my gosh, it's, it's already tearing already apart. Tearing apart. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still a very clever idea. It probably ripped up in Muggle Customs. Probably. And then just in case you don't know how to play chess or set it up, they give you some instructions. Which is good because I'm more of a checkers girl. Ah, uh, well, I don't need instructions because I'm a knight. <laughs> it still kind of feels like a badge. It's like, hello. I'm Wizard Weston, part of the uh, Wizard Chess Association. Now, where did I put my badge? Hey, that duck's got it! <laughs> All right, next. We have a keychain. It's a spinny keychain with the Hogwarts crest on one side, and then hopefully people just standing around doing spells and not urinating. <laughs> Although I. On a wall. <laughs> I don't think my idea was much better because when I see this, all I can think of is a certain set of statues that you could visit ah, in Las Vegas. Vegas at the Riviera. So Dumbledore's army, this is a huge keychain. It is heavy. I tell you what, if you're losing your keys with something this big, y you got problems. This is a, obviously a much better quality than, uh, than the chess set. <laughs> well, it's made out of metal. 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 It's made of metal. It's made of metal. So we have house neck warmer. Was scarf trademarked? Scarf is trademarked. I, yeah. <laughs> we owe someone a nickel. So it's made out of t-shirt material, and it does have the badger on it, and it has got the colors of Hufflepuff. And then it says Dumbledore's army on it. So, yeah. Very stretchy. That looks choky. <laughs> and some people like to just wear the scarf so they can just kind of pull it up over their face. And then what are you, Rambo now? Hey yo, to become a wizard you gotta think like a wizard. <laughs> okay. Double door! Oh no! Yes, it's disgraceful. How you Alright, we got the button. Oh gosh, they have been all over the place. They kind of have. The one that kind of weirded me out was Hagrid's hut because before then it was either like a thing or a creature. It was mostly doing magical creatures, but see for me that one wasn't weird because Hagrid does magical creatures. Well, what I mean is it was then a, a thing, a, a place. So it's yeah. like hmm, maybe the hand of glory. No wait, that's that a different shop, wasn't it? That was in Borgen and Burks, but this is more the room of requirements. Oh, maybe one of the uh, little robo statues they practice on. Okay, that's a good one. No, it's Borgen and Burks. <laughs> Should have gone with my first idea, yeah. talking about Hagrid's hut. Yeah. Went with another building. Yep. If they keep this up, we could have a uh, cityscape. That could be fun. But they've gone with kind of almost a like comic book cartoony 
look to it. I mean, I feel like I could I've, I could see this in like a 60s comic book drawing. <laughs> I, I like do. Spider-Man's running by. Oh, see, I wasn't thinking so much <laughs> 60s. I'm picturing like Dick Tracy running by. Oh, well, that too. Very interesting. Not one of my more favorite pins. Yeah, Especially that because one's... it's just green and yellow and it it's says a Morgan bland. and Burks on it. Tonight on Bland Man. So the next item is a um, Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem key thingy. Like, not a key fob, but like you put the key, the end of the key in here. Oh, yeah. So it's like a key cover, I guess, whatever Those you want to call it. still things. I, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> the thing no that I find that. that's very odd is the fact that they gave me Rowena Ravenclaws. But it was found in the room of requirement, wasn't it? Or was that where they left That's it? That's true. Okay, that makes sense. Well, wouldn't it make more sense to give me, like, the uh, Helga Hufflepuff's cup? But, yeah, you're right. I forgot it was found in the room of requirements. Makes sense. It's cool looking, though. I've always liked her diadem. Wizard Ninja. Wizard Ninja. All right, so the next item is a Death Eater Practice Dummy Plushie, which I think this looks a little bit more like a voodoo doll. A little bit. So... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm a ninja now. Ooh. This is an odd choice to go with to make it a plushie. Very interesting. This is a very interesting box. It has been. I, so was that the last item in there? Nope, there's one more item in here. But uh, yeah, kind of like a little pillow plushie. Reminds me of the plushies that you used to get like back in the 60s and 70s when you just bought a pattern and they cheaped out and just printed True. the pattern on the thing. Yes. <laughs> last thing in the box is a shirt. By the way, my neck is very warm if anyone was wondering. All right, so we have a long sleeve t-shirt that says advanced potion making. It looks like an advertisement for Borgen and Burks. That's not too bad. I, I kind of like that, you know, going with like the advertisement look to it. It's kind of clever. What do you think of it being a long sleeve though? I don't like long sleeve t-shirts, but I don't like long sleeves because I don't like constricting things on my arms. Like I don't mind like this, like, loose long sleeves but long sleeve t-shirts are always tight yes you are tight like a tiger what does it say on that long sleeve it says the half-blood prince oh thanks a lot you wrote in our book now you wrote on our shirt <laughs> all right so what do you think is a whole of the box well i don't like to be negative about things but i did not like this box at all this was uh, very much a miss for me as well. Yeah. I feel like the room of requirement, it sounds like a good theme on paper, but I think it's very hard to follow up with because other than the diadem, which was found in there, and the training mannequin, mm -hmm. what else could you really have in there? Yeah, this is obviously not it, but I mean, they did make a coin that let people know when to meet. And the chest, I really don't understand. I don't remember the chest. The chest doesn't really fit. What about uh, quality of the items? Theme aside. Uh, the quality of the items, aside from the chessboard, because that was really cheap, um, are fairly good. I mean, like I said, this is a good, substantial keychain here. I guess the quality of this is pretty good. I mean, it's just it's just a rubber key cover. The fabric and the, the feel of the t-shirt is nice. It's just, I'm not a fan of those types of shirts mm -hmm. so i mean half of the stuff because i mean this is just i don't know if you can really comment on the quality of this oh yeah the next scarf i forgot about the next scarf <laughs> uh yeah um no so quality's not there either not really what about the inside of the box anything fun oh is it supposed to be the cabinet I feel like maybe they could have had more fun going for some more Dark Wizard stuff mm -hmm. versus, you know, misleading you with having Borgen and Burks. I know the cabinet led you to Borgen and Burks, but they could have done like a little jewelry box maybe that looked like the cabinet. Like I said, I don't like being negative about things, but this is not a good box. I was not pleased with this box. Well, they can't all be winners. They cannot. But they are fairly caught up now, so yes. uh, 
pretty soon, maybe get another one. We'll have to see if that kind of makes up for yes for the missteps in this one. Yeah, definitely. I would say if this had come out when we were like four or five boxes behind, this would have maybe made me cancel. Ooh. I would say that. But in those four boxes that we got, there was uh, more good stuff than bad stuff in those boxes to keep me going. You know, now actually having it on, it's actually not too bad, actually. The uh, print's not too thick. The sleeves aren't too tight. So I actually don't mind this long sleeve t-shirt. All right. Well, there you have it, nerdlings. Let us know your thoughts on anything in the box, uh, you know, from the Borgen and Burke side of things, the rumor requirement side of things. Leave those comments down below what you think of these. Hey, let us know if you had any of the uh, the older dolls. You know, obviously not the Death Eater practice a dummy, but, you know, if you had any of the ones that kind of looked more like a pillow. And uh, let me know if your, your neck gets a little cold sometimes and you have to use something that's not a scarf. <laughs> uh, leave those likes, <laughs> comments down below. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. Oh, is that how the the bad wizards got the scruffy voices? They were those neck things. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Head over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And hey, the Retro Refresh now has merchandise too. And if we like it, we nerd it. This is coming from the one and only Bandana Wizard. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. How did it get dinner going? Did it fall down? I think it was sinking. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> hey, the only room... The only... <clears throat> happy. You're happy. All right, now you're thinking. A lot of thought going into potions. Don't want to mess this up. No, you're not scared. You're not scared. You enjoy potions. Yes, yes, this is great, this is great. Yes, 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 no, no, yes! <laughs> <laughs>